Juneteenth is a holiday celebrated on June 19th to commemorate the emancipation of enslaved people in the U.S. The holiday was first celebrated in Texas, where on that date in 1865, in the aftermath of the Civil War, slaves were declared free under the terms of the 1862 Emancipation Proclamation. I am making my cake using the colors of the Pan-African flag, which represents people of the African diaspora and symbolizes Black liberation in the United States. Hey y'all, welcome to Friday's Kitchen. Welcome back if you have been here before. In today's video, we are doing a subscriber request. I am making a Juneteenth pound cake. If you guys are interested in seeing how I made it, stay tuned. Also, while you're here, I ask that you please take a moment and look down below, press that subscribe button, join our family, and come back for some more recipes. Here we have the ingredients for the pound cake. Up first, we have three cups of all-purpose flour, one half teaspoon of baking powder, one fourth teaspoon of sea salt. Everything has been sifted together. Three cups of granulated sugar, six eggs at room temperature, eight ounces of cream cheese at room temperature, three sticks of unsalted butter at room temperature. We will be using vanilla and almond extract. You can use any extracts you may like. And also not pictured, we'll be using red, black, and green gel color. The full list of ingredients will be down below in the description box. And I have started by preheating the oven to 300 degrees. Go ahead and get started on the cake batter. In the bowl, I have the butter and cream cheese. I'm gonna turn the mixer on and mix until well combined. And then I'm gonna add the granulated sugar. Once I add the sugar, I'm gonna let the mixer run for about five to 10 minutes until the mixture lightens in color and becomes nice and fluffy. So now that everything is well combined and the mixture is nice and fluffy, I'm gonna go ahead and add my eggs one at a time. Once I add an egg, I like to wait for the yolk to break before adding the next. And then we're gonna go in with our vanilla and almond extracts. Now I'm going to scrape down the sides and bottom of the bowl to make sure everything gets well combined. Then I'm going to turn the mixer back on and gradually add the flour mixture. Now we're going to scrape down the sides and bottom of the bowl again. I'm going to turn the mixer back on for a few seconds and then I'm going to split the cake batter into three as evenly as I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to leave some in the mixer bowl and put two other portions into other bowls and then we'll be back to color them. Okay, so now that the cake batter is done, let me go ahead and divide into three and we'll be right back. Now that we've separated the cake batter, I'm gonna go ahead and start by coloring the batter that I have left over in the bowl and we're going to color this red. You can add as much color as you want to get whatever shade you'd like. So this is going to be our red. I'm gonna add some gel color, turn the mixer on and see what we end up with. Definitely gonna need more. Thank you. 
I'm going to leave the red color here. It will darken a bit as it sits and also as it bakes. So I think we're good with this color. So I'm gonna go ahead, put the mixer up, remove the bowl, and then I'll be back to color the black and the green cake batter. So we're back with the cake batter. I am going to color this portion green. So I have my green gel color. I will definitely be adding more color to this batter because this isn't going to be dark enough. All right, so this is our green. Let me grab the rest of the cake batter to color black and I'll be right back. So we're back with the remainder of the batter. I have added some black color, so let's go ahead and mix this in. Here we have the black, it's all done. So let me go ahead, grab the cake pan, and we'll be back to assemble the cake and get it ready to put into the oven. Here we have the pan we're going to use to bake the cake. I am gonna line the pan with parchment paper, but I'm still gonna spray a light layer of pan baking spray first. I'm gonna start by putting this bottom piece on. And then I'm going to place these two strips around the sides. All right, I'm gonna spray just a little more baking spray inside. So now we are going to layer the cake. I typically like to serve my cakes right side up, so I wanted to put it in the pan the way that I want it to show once I serve the cake. So I want red to be on the top, black in the middle, green on the bottom. So I'm going to start by placing the green batter in the pan first. Now we're going to go in with the black. All right, so finally we are going to go in with the red color. All right, y'all, so our cake is ready to go into the oven. Again, the oven has been preheated to 300 degrees. This will bake for about an hour and a half. I will check it and adjust that time as needed, but as always, I'll let you guys know exactly how long it takes in my oven when I remove it. 
Here is the cake after one hour, 30 minutes in the oven. I'm gonna let it hang out in the pan for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll turn it out onto a plate. So we've removed the cake from the pan and this is what we have. I'm gonna let the cake cool for a bit and then I'll slice it so you guys can see what the inside looks like. We have made it to the end of the video. Here we have the finished product, the Juneteenth Cream Cheese Pound Cake. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions about anything I've done, leave them down below in the comment section. The cake was really good, really moist as cream cheese pound cakes are. And again, I chose to use almonds to flavor my cake. If you decide to make this cake, you can use whatever flavor you'd like. I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in and always supporting. I love each and every one of you. That being said, I am moving away from my every Sunday schedule upload. Um, I'm getting a little burned out. <laughs> I will still be uploading. It'll just be whenever I feel like making something. And so that you guys are made aware before it actually goes live, I will set the videos up as premieres so you'll know exactly when it's going to air. Also, as a premiere, I will be online watching as the video airs. So if you have any questions about what I'm doing, you can ask in real time and I will be there to reply to any questions that you guys may have. I hope you all understand. And before I close this video, it will air on Father's Day. So I'd like to take a second to wish a very happy Father's Day to all the amazing dads out there. Again, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.